far too early. That's what I was watching last night. But it's far too early. And why am I up for? On Easter Sunday, a boot sale. Which I've got a funny feeling I might not even be on. Well, it's Easter Sunday and this morning started out a bit mental. Yep. Yeah. Bright and early. We decided to go to the boot sales and somewhere else will be open. And last time I went on my own without Annie and I got frowned for days like. Thing is, this boot sale starts at 6 o'clock in the morning. So in theory, it gives us time to go to that boot sale, then go all the way to Hexham, which is like 30 miles the other way. It was just a theory. So Annie slept in, so I've got 15 minutes to kill. So, I'm at the car wash. <sighs> Where's my cord gone? That's it. Nah. Check in progress. Welcome to the car wash. What did pigeons eat? Well, come on, how have I still got pigeon shit on me fucking car? Unbelievable. And his mates. Yes, you. It's a real sign to get no when you pull out a hair from your beard and one's completely white and the one's completely black and you think, wow, it's Michael Jackson. Wait, no, honey. I'm doing a good deed, not a bad deed. Someone's ran over a cat and left it in the middle of the road. So I'm gonna pick it up. Cat dead, details there. Terrible. I did not run that over, did I? No, you didn't. I went back and shifted it off the road. Poor pussy cat. Could have been T a Milo. I would expect that somebody would do the same thing. No, I turned around, parked up a country road. Anything could have happened. <laughs> so we decided today to go to the Blade and Boot Sale, which we've never been to before. Nope. Annie always wants to go to it, and she said, I want their shit. People's shit! Not genuine shit, like, no. just stuff. I wish it was on camera, and we were pulled in the car park. Annie just went, TOYS! <laughs> People's shit! <laughs> so what did we buy at the first boot sale? What was the first thing you bought at the boot sale? It's April! Do you really want to know? It's the first store and you bought a Santa Claus. I know. It's April. I know. So, I got a Santa Claus in April for two pounds. And he looks amazing. Ho, ho, ho. Since we're in the mood for insanity, jump to the next boot sale, give it away that we actually got the boot sale. So when I see this, I had to buy it because of that. Hi, Annie. Oh my god. So in the true spirit of Christmas in April, I got him and I got a Santa too. <laughs> it's like Paul Ray put Blu-rays out. Look at that, it's on the floor, Paul Ray. <laughs> it's not Beethoven. It's Cujo. <laughs> but it's Cujo. It's, Cujo. it's Cujo. So in the first bag, Beast Man. I'm sure you already have a Beast Man. I do, but not this one. Why not that one? I don't think I have this one. I'm sure you have that one. Really? Yeah. Well, if I do, he's got a friend. So... Two gingers. It's like having two jacks. It's a bit much. Oh, he just... Look, he's going nuts. In the spirit of buying toys, I've seen these and thought, well, I did enjoy it as a kid, and I thought, hang on a minute, I don't remember these. 
warrior in shadow, gladiators, English gladiators, they look like they had the whole air uh, buttons, the gauntlet button, not the gauntlet, but Shadow was undefeated till he got uh, demoted in the first series, but yeah, two uh, gladiators who've got like quite a weird pose. Hey, give me a hug, give me a hug. It's Franco. A bro hug. Bro hug, but yeah, <laughs> two gladiators. So still on the first bag of the first boot sale, if to be honest with you, I didn't think we were going to get much stuff out there. Then we found, where well, I found this, when she's seen this, right, she pushed us out the way, she was like, whoa! <laughs> and I was like, what the hell, what you see? I got a really cool uh, SFX special edition horror magazine which pretty much has everything in it. I haven't actually opened this yet, so... Oh, a double-sided oh. poster of the thing and <laughs> Halloween! Get that opened! So, uh, we got the whole package in here. They included everything. Um, so there's my poster. <laughs> uh, Halloween, and then the thing. Oh my god, that. look at that! That is amazing that it's going straight on the wall. No, I'll keep that one instead. <laughs> uh, so I got my very But you know own. what, it's even funnier. I didn't even know that. Can you hold that? Yeah, sure. Because I am not wearing the Santa, the Santa top all the way through this video. I, was, I wasn't expecting it. Oh. Let's go back to Halloween now. So, <laughs> so we got a... <laughs> um, I'll keep the Christmas hat on. Got a pretty good deal here. Let yeah, me see. Yeah, I don't awesome. even know what's in the zip bag that they tie together. Probably someone's cost me back. So shut up. Little stuff. Oh, that's just like some uh just some novelty beer mats. Novelty beer mats of oh, the Wicker Man, Slaughter Lamb, like a werewolf, Shaun of the Dead, the Winchester Arms, how awesome is that? Mm hmm They got Freddy and Jason badges. Yeah, if you can see them, I'll just let you see those there. They're great. Uh, and then, if anybody has this and they're a horror fan, you know, hats off to you, because I'm so pleased that I found this today. It's got the classics, and it's got the slashers, and it's got pretty much everything that you would love if you're a horror fan, so this was a great find. That's a good find. Very good find. No wonder you pushed this out of the way. Bye! <laughs> Do not say that again. What is it not? <laughs> the original. It's not the original at all. <laughs> okay, next up I found the store where it was selling, what was it, f seven DVDs for five pound? Yes. And the first DVD that caught my eye was this gem. Party wants to store Macaulay Culkin along with Seth Green and Marilyn Manson. I used to have this, someone lent it, never gives it back. Can't point the finger. Wasn't Andrew Shiki. Um, <laughs> <laughs> apparently Andrew Shiki has, maybe he's got my Godzilla 85. And that'd be amazing in stars. Not a flip case, but yeah. Awesome how back in the collection that will be going on fast forward reviews. There's a big pile of stuff here, so I'm gonna go through it. Found an old Static X album. Found a blood cabin. This boy's life, which is a snap case, which is Leonardo DiCaprio's really like a creepy film with Robert De Niro. Fear.com starring Jeffrey Combs and Stephen Dorff. I did think this film was shit originally. Loch Ness. This monster. If you want to watch this for a while for reviews, remember how terrible it was because it's not as good as the terror of Loch Ness where the Loch Ness monster moves to Canada for the rest of the film. <laughs> we have, this is Mint when I found this, Godzilla. Hanna-Barbera, Godzilla, VHS. That's amazing. I can't believe it when I've seen that. That is amazing. That's awesome. I've just discovered <laughs> Loch Ness terror. Um, that the Godzilla VHS, I got the Hanna-Barbera one, goes for about £30 on eBay, then postage. So that was an awesome find for £20. Up our street, definitely Black Water. Crocodile movie. The movie is Black Water. It has a cracking crocodile reveal on this movie. Now I've just realised what I've got in this hand, and I could not believe it when I see it. I was like, oh my god, I didn't <laughs> grab that! I went on a rant about this for a while. I'm a massive fan of Highlander through Highlander 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there was a TV series and most importantly there was VHS's There we go, Highlander, The Gathering and Christopher Lambert is on the front cover This was a virgin price, Gordon Paul Ray, movie guy Paul Ray 11 99 for VHS Christopher Lambert, Adrian Paul who went on to be in Highlander 4 and Highlander 5 Highlander 5 is absolutely terrible This actually has a receipt 
Um, entertaining video, someone started watching this then give up, it's a 15 rated, it is not a flip case and let's have a look at the receipt actually. It's awesome to have that Oh my now. god. This was bought on the 18th of the 1st in 1999 oh. at quarter to three from Megastore Highlander, paid cash for it as well. Wow. And the ID number of the seller was 350204. So whoever that is, cash ID. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's wow. awesome. Now the thing is, I thought that was an absolute rare hidden gem, and guess what? No, seriously, guess what? What? The next door down, there's another one. Big box though, check that out, Dan Percy. I check it's got mould. Wow, unbelievable. What? I don't believe this just happened. What? Right, back to this. This is Highland of the Gathering Big Box. This has got more of the rental cover going on there. Cover's a little bit different. Independent video. Running time, 90 minutes. So it's a, it's literally the um, pilot. But guess what? What? Hold that one up. Open Hold it up. Hold it up. It's in run time there. Someone started watching it. Yep. By any chance, the same person watching that video and give up watching that almost identically at the same time. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Looks like they just give up watching it at the same time. Two different people, two different points of time went, what the hell's this shit? This isn't the Highlander movie. And give up. <laughs> it's not a flip. No, they're not flip boxes, but they have them in the collection. That's awesome to find that. And I think together they were a pound. And that one's got some sticky shit on it. <laughs> Did get two more DVDs. Young Guns, Snapbox. Young Guns 2, starring Kristen Sater, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Emilio Westerves. And that is awesome. Although it's been tarnished by Granger Games. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to have in the Snapboxes. The VHS of this is far better. VHS cover. And another cover for the collection. It's just a slipcase, but again, $9.97 for a DVD, brand new. And it's for Predator 2. It's a special edition collection. And movie pop guy Paul Ray, I found some of the day that I know you're gonna want. So that's Beauty and the Beast he probably wants off us and the next video. Hey Paul, <laughs> guess what I found? No seriously Paul, I don't care about anyone else on the internet right now. I'm looking at you Paul. Guess what I found? It's the brave little toaster Paul Ray. Plug into an adventure of a lifetime, the feature length movie, the brave little toaster. And someone has rewound it and it's mould free. Hey Paul Ray. So yes, if you check out Paul Ray movie stuff, YouTube, this video will probably turn up in his videos. <laughs> Even though he was uh, trying to give us £2 for my Beauty and the Beast, which is worth £15 grand according to eBay. Don't know what's wrong with eBay. <laughs> it's not like I've got a problem with this. It is windy, but when it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning and someone's smoking a joint. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, to be honest with you, Blame wasn't setting the world on fire. Their clouds were rolling in. Yeah, it was really early. People were really pushy as well. Some yeah. guy literally turned up, opened up the back of his boot and was like, there you go, man, there you go. And it's just like, did you rob somebody on the weekend? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like people like pushing plum trays around, kicking off about the ground. You're pushing a buggy around the field. What do you expect? Look at this. <laughs> There's fucking pigs and shit everywhere. I just washed it. <laughs> There's something up front there as well. Well, that was there before. <laughs> Look. I've just washed my car. Un unbelievable. It's like a giant jizz on the top of my car. <laughs> oh, so that was lucky. So that was Bladen uh, car park. We're actually going to go to Hexham. Well, Ali wants to go to Hexham. Hexham's probably not going to be on. I want to see if Hexham's on because it's a long drive from here. So with that in time, we decided to drive all the way up to Hexham. Two weeks in a row, I've been to Hexham, boots on. Mm -hmm. This time it was a bit more crazier. Yes. <laughs> so it's like 25 miles from where we'll be in the Hexham. Uh, found a road which is straight rather than go for a concert. Now how do you find Hexham? Do you remember last week? Because last week was the booth sale. Look, there is the smoke. Is it smoke? That's how you find Hexham. And that's how windy it is today compared to last week. Stephen A. Stephen A. Duck season. No, it's rabbit season. Duck season. Ooh. 
<laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> What's up with that? What? It's Easter Sunday and there's hardly any cars on the road. Now you can hear one in the background, but that's the beauty of Easter Sunday is everywhere is shut. Actually, will Starbucks even be open? Oh, I'm going to get a Starbucks coffee, we just realised it might be shut. <laughs> Spelled my name wrong. God damn it. I forgot. I got it back. Yep, it's mine. Uh, Sorry. What? Well, nothing else in the bin. I forgot you wanted to keep the cup. <laughs> Doesn't want to keep it now, so I've got to put it back in the bin. She was grief about chucking the cup out, now she doesn't want it. Natalie, who is this Natalie, yeah? I don't know. It's your sister. <laughs> Cav, guess what? It's raining, so what am I doing? Standing in the rain. Hopefully the pigeon shit will move me car by the time I get back. So this week it's indoors. No general public allowed in the pending area. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Livestock. Where do you think hamburgers come from? France. But, to be honest with you, no, I know, honestly though, when we got there, I didn't think we were going to find much at first. I was a bit skeptic too, but eventually we found quite a lot of stuff. I was pretty surprised how we were walking around with a shit ton of stuff eventually. <laughs> exactly, I was wondering what that was in the pocket. First off, Thomas the Tank. Now, when the next Thomas appears, there is another Thomas. I'll tell you why. There's a Thomas the Tank in the pocket. <laughs> There's a battle around the boots here. Annie just loves pointing out penguins every time she sees a penguin because I don't like penguins, do I? <laughs> I hate penguins. And I say, look, look, a penguin. That's great, Annie. Thanks, Annie. My first purchase of the day, guess what? So I've bought it so far, but Annie hasn't bought anything. She's like flicking the head around. <coughs> hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Da -da 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 -da. It. Obviously, I'm surprised to pick this up. This is a retro original wreath. What size of this boot you could kill somebody with it? Do you know what I mean? I One blow to the head. <laughs> um, it's an amazing book. It looks like oh, it is. He's actually played a guitar on the back. Stephen King, the horror writer, rocking out a guitar on the back. That's pretty random to put in the back cover. Are you a writer? <laughs> anyway, um, that's amazing find to have. Jack hates clowns. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. But uh, I am going to give this a read, obviously, with a new film coming out. I do have another version of that. You do? Yeah. Bottom corner right there. Under you. That's Jack of the book. What the size of the book? Big difference in it. What have you bought? I left it for two nothing. minutes. Nothing. And he bought nothing. Nothing. And he bought nothing. People are selling pirate DVDs at a boot sale. <laughs> it's it's a proper slap in the face crime. It's like haha I got away with it, I've watched it, now I'm gonna sell it again. <laughs> Piracy. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Look, there, there's one there. Ocean's Fairview. Piracy. <laughs> I can smell cannabis again. This is the, the guy, the guy from Thing must be here. And that is some smelly stuff. <laughs> wow. Who's smoking that? We're all gonna get high. <laughs> Why the random clubs? Why? <laughs> Would you really buy a mouth one? <laughs> I was just say. Would you really? Would you really buy it? Mm, Listerine. <laughs> mm. So why but what brought you here today? Well my bottom of my body's rotted away because I drank some Listerine. Methylated spirits. Found some videos finally. Whoop! Oh lovely. Sold. Bet you're wondering, my son, what's in the box? It's heavy. <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, you know what the funny thing is? What? Between the two boot sales, I spent 10 quid at each. No. And we've seen a shoplifter at a boot sale. Can you believe that? Okay, get him out of the way first. So let me just get this big guy out of the way. Uh. We bargained on the price and I literally could not pass up on Spider-Man. 
Uh, he's pretty large. I probably don't have anywhere to put him, but having my collection is pretty amazing. He's great. He's... Uh, <laughs> the size of Deadpool almost? He is pretty large. Uh, so, 10 pounds is a steal for him. And that's my Spider-Man. Right, there's no easy way to put this, but... <laughs> So yeah, there's a massive box, and who's he called? Uh, I'm going to name him Jeff. <laughs> you can't, you've only got a dinosaur called Jeff. That's Jeffosaurus. Does anyone get the Jeff? I'll tell you the Jeff story in the car. So while we're driving, I want to tell you a story about Jeff. Oh. Now, <laughs> not the last time Random Shopping in Durham, Random Shopping when we went originally, we didn't have the camera because we were hung over us. Yeah. So we're walking down the high street and uh, this guy walks out and he's wearing this hat, big coat on it. And he literally walks into us and all of a sudden some guy comes out the movies and goes, Jeff! And all of a sudden this guy stops right in front of me and Annie and turns in slow motion and goes, Aah! <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what the fuck walking past him, mate? This is like, Aah! He walked off and we were like, He was still going, Aah! Did you just see that? <laughs> So we've named him Jeff McIntosh. So at any point you hear me go, Jeff, it's like, Mah, Mah. But again, it's like slow motion and he was drooling as well. He was like, Mah. And these like big, slime. like, big, thick, like, um, glasses. Buddy Holly glasses on as well. <laughs> from, from, like, old school. Buddy Holly glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the world according to Jeff. Mah. Not Jeffrey Combs or Jeff Hardy. Just Jeff. Jeff Jefferson. Jeff, uh, Jeff Jeffries, Jeffers. <laughs> Jeff, 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 and Kicks. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> So this is now Jeff the monkey, I guess. Monkey so, yeah, Jeff. Monkey Jeff, and I've got Ed the duck. Check him out. Remember him? I don't know if he's a hand puppet or not. So yeah, Ed the duck and Jeff. That is pretty neat. Sweep, it's okay. Calm down, sweep. <laughs> so I got a kooky monster. On the way back, we were just running around, and I spotted him in the last minute, so he was a steal. And then, obviously, a shark toy eating somebody's limb, which is pretty interesting to add to the collection. Pretty interesting when you had it in the bath. Yep. <laughs> I got this, a bit random, but for a pound. Um, it's a box of souls, so I'm going to keep boxes of souls with people. Yeah. It's a little box, I thought it'd be cool for a little ornament in the background, put something inside of it, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. Put next to the whiskers for the moment. <laughs> uh, I got this as well. got this for the reviews. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> it took my finger off! <laughs> yeah, I got this for all my fast forward reviews actually though. That was the plan in my head. There we go. That's pretty good. So Jack, Keda, Chris Davies, Annie, I'm writing, I'm filming, and he tripped over. For all CB Hero fans, Stephen actually bought this for me when he spotted it on route around the market today. This is a Green Lantern slash Green Arrow CB Hero mug, which has really cool art prints on it for any CB Hero fan that is a Green Lantern fan like me, that is a must have. And you're going to use it for pens and pencils. And I'm going to use it to stash pens. Next up, I got this on UMD. It's Transformers the movie, the original cartoon, not that Michael Bay thing. Recently getting the steelbook along with the VHS and DVDs. That is awesome to have in the collection. Uh, because I'm a massive toy collector, I spotted this and it reminded me of my childhood somewhat. So I, I grabbed a original troll with pink hair. I'm sure a lot of people remember these. Uh, I'm not really massive on them, but as a toy collector, I'd love to have one in my collection, which I now do, so I'm really pleased with that. Box up. What? That there. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, so we walked past this a couple of times, and I know how much Stephen loves penguins. I hate uh, penguins. So I purchased this penguin. Uh, which kind of, it's got like some weird growth of hair going out the sides there. Some weird growth out the sides of your head. <laughs> which could be you yeah, if yeah. you grew your hair. <laughs> um, 
So this is for Steven to add to his penguin collection that is now ongoing uh, as a joke present. So happy you know what's early not a birthday. Joke? Oh yeah, you know what's not a joke? What? But the actual picture of Gally or somebody put in there. There's a penguin there with chasers. <laughs> Ah, that's great. I got that out for the whole Roxy clip on the last video. That is so we sitting on there. <laughs> so, so it was fun. like mini me and there's the penguin, someone replaced him in the hallway. <laughs> okay, another Thomas. You think, why has he got two Thomas the Tanks? Well, first off, Thomas the Tank was awesome when I was a kid. Now the idea is, I am going to be doing a fast forward review for Ant-Man. So you can see where I'm going there. Little me, big me, little Thomas, big Thomas. Thomas the Tanks kid, if you haven't seen the movie, not going to spoil it, check it out because it's awesome. It's very funny. Yanny. Wanna play? <laughs> Bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Calm down, sweep. It's like a rival. <laughs> the reason why I have Gromit. Oh, some Gromit. Yep, yeah, it is Gromit. As we've got a deal on a box of videos, a box of them. VHS is now. There's probably going to be an argument here about whose is who. But, I know which are mine. But he is definitely mine. What do you mean you know which ones are yours? I know which are mine. So I bet you're wondering, Annie, what's in the box? First up we have... Oh, oh, check hiya. this guy out. Donatello's head. We still need to make a video where this came from. Hi, Annie. What's going on? Is this really have... What? Robocop. We have? No, we don't. What? Robocop 2. Well, yours, I've already got it. We've Robocop. What's going on here? you got plenty over there. <laughs> Go away. Why? Why? Yeah. you just got to get a mischief. <laughs> No. <clears throat> Rocky 5, I don't have that. So Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that yours? It's okay. It's yours? okay. You take it. I don't want Rocky you can 5. Add it. Add it. And now I want them as presets. Because uh, you've got Rocky 1 and 2 there as well. Friday the Fiend for final chapter. I'm doing very well here, am I? That's a Corey Game film. That's a Corey Feldman movie. Rocky 3 and 4. So you've got all five Rockies in this box set. Yeah, Go me. <laughs> wow, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson bears all. Keith David. Good cop, bad cop. That's definitely mine. Next up, we have on a big box X Red. Oh, wow! Sylvester Stallone. It's like over the top. No, hey, look. hey, hey, look. Ooh. Found uh, Young Guns. That's far better cover that than that DVD yeah, you got man. before. That's happy. mint. Forget that Sylvester Stallone lock up. This is better. There we go. That's yours, I guess. I think these mine. I Tombstone. Didn't even know you got Tombstone. <laughs> Tombstone's mine. See when I did the review for Fast Forward Reviews. Bottom corner right there. That's me and my horsey. Dressed up and I did a uh, review for Tombstone. I believe Tombstone on Blu-ray is still at your house. Yes. Okay. I'll have a little bit of a rant about that. I'm keeping that. Next up we have, that's the reason why Gromit was in the box, two Wallace and Gromits, offered uh, 487, 487. Wow. The wrong trousers and the grandy out. That so is that, awesome. He's going to be sitting in the background in future videos I imagine. <laughs> Death Race 2000 starring Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's not really a uh, star in it, disappearing out. Sequel of that has finally that's come yours. out. That's yours. Is it really? Yeah. That's Sylvester Stallone then? That's yours. Why do you not want it? It's been rewound. It's okay. Keep digging. Okay. Next up, Lethal Weapon 1, 2 and 3. There's an 4 in mind. Mm -hmm. Says a complete action step. There's one missing. Um, high school artworks, wasn't that? No. Give me a look, yeah, I'll have that one as well. I'm sure I've got Lethal Weapon 1, 2 on the own. Next up we have... They missed you for me. Second yours. Lenny Swift. Did you put that in the box? You did. 9 .99. You did. It's for Paul Ray, that Godzilla, one of the worst covers ever, Godzilla. Just a Godzilla, digital lie. <laughs> Give the film some boom, man, come on, that is absolutely appalling. So is this guy, he's appalling, that's not Godzilla. That is Godzilla. This is Godzilla. Two more we've got going on in here, we have Kickboxer starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, that's pretty awesome to get that when I got Blood Sport the other day. And we have a Rambo trilogy box set. More Sylvester Stallone. These guys are really big Sylvester Stallones, but the box sets inside are pretty sweet, and I'm sure you have a few of these. That is an amazing cover for First Blood. Should not have 
Um, that's a hunk of that. I have that one. You have that one? I have that one. So that's awesome. This mine? Yeah. She's going to lose sleep over it. She's going to sleep in it. He's got I that will. cover. I will. He's got that cover. It's just the whole box. The thing is, what do you have in mind? crazy. First blood of the novel? Still? You know. Last but not least, two films. Very similar. First up, this is pretty awesome. It's a slip down American style cover. It has been around. This is Eddie Murphy and Beverly Hills Cop. Sorry, Eddie Murphy. And this one is a big box. Um, almost a preset. It is a preset almost. Featuring special Eddie Murphy profile star and Eddie Murphy. 15s are very, very big on them. This is a reissue where it's got the tank behind it, but yeah. This is one of the original uh, rental versions of it. Wow! Wow! That is retro. And that was the end of the box. Is that it? So that's it. So we had a pretty busy day uh, getting up early and finding some gems as usual when we go shopping. Getting up uh, early? You slept in? I slept in by 15 minutes. Uh, we usually find stuff everywhere we go that jumps out at us that we that we both absolutely love and today was just absolutely amazing uh, to add stuff to our collection so I'm really pleased. The only downer is my phone went flat and we could have met up with Jack. <sighs> I know. And just sort of did the two way thing with Paul Rick because he was a love chopping. But there's always another day I guess. Sure. <laughs> right. Let me see what you missing. This should be the end of the video. It'd be a pretty long random shot. I do apologise. No, I don't. It's my video. And this is Annie. Hi, guys. The hoarder. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye. Ow. Ugh. Okay, last week I ordered a t shirt from Sib Sports and it just turned up and I'm just like so excited. So I'm going to showcase it now. What's in the bag? Ta-da! Can you see it all? It is... Don't hassle me, I'm local! Which is a reference to What About Bob? Ready? Oh my god! <laughs> Why? It's Bob! It's oh. Bob's new shirt! You should have known that! <laughs> That's great! Oh. You didn't recognise my t-shirt. You didn't recognise my book. <laughs> Some kind of Bob fan you are. I mean what? Well... We had a good day. <laughs> the reason why Annie's been missing from the last two uh, red, random shopping videos... This! <laughs> so how was Brave Little Toaster? I watch it, yeah. You have you ever done? Oh yeah, I. Too, I'm too busy watching um, the Flying Scotsman on video tape. Stuff you've been buying at the book sale there. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, so thank That's you. Good. It's good, it's fun. It is, yeah. It's fun, fun, fun. Bye. Bye.